everyone, I'm Lauren Eloise and welcome to another gay video. This video is a little bit different, it's it's a more personal video and we're gonna get a little bit deep so uh, strap yourselves in. <laughs> you guys who have been following me for a really long time know that I used to post videos about my relationship and with my partner at the time. I started YouTube in July of 2016, by the end of that year I had videos with my girlfriend in it. So we were dating for three years and I had gained a small handful audience through that time, probably 10,000 by the time I went through a breakup and I took six months off YouTube and I had to come back and explain what the hell happened, which <sighs> made me uncomfortable. But what inspired me to make this video today is a conversation with one of you guys I had on Discord. We were just talking about gay stuff and then this question came up and I'll read it to you. Do you think you'd ever have your future girlfriend on YouTube? I always see other YouTubers not do it after but I feel like is it that bad? So I replied to this person and we had a good conversation about it. She was very understanding. Obviously I couldn't write everything in my head into a message to her and I thought you know what I'll try and write it down in note format so that I could later make a video on it. Just so I can expand on some points because I think things come across easier um, through voice, through video, than through text. And it's something I wanted to talk about for a little while. So yeah, we're gonna talk about if I will ever post relationship videos on YouTube again, slash do I regret my online relationship. I kind of just want to preface this video saying, this is my opinion at this point in time. People grow and change and I am aware that I may change over time and my opinion might change depending on life circumstances what happens so nobody hold me accountable to this <laughs> that's basically what i'm trying to say but the perspective that i have right now is from a place of healing and from hurt but let's get into it so having about 10,000 subscribers at the time that i wanted to come back to youtube and explain my absence it was it felt like a lot of pressure it felt like Yes, I did have to sort of explain where I went and it felt like something that I had to share, like that I wasn't in a relationship anymore because that would just be weird if I didn't. Like, I don't know, I just felt that I had to address it. The way that I did was just through a video and I just chucked a few sentences in there saying like, we're not in a relationship and I didn't really want to share any other information. And I also want to preface that I know that I am not like these other YouTubers because they're like literally YouTubers and I'm just a small person who only showed their relationship to a good handful of people. These people have had a lot more people invested in their relationship. Anyway, I feel like what happens with relationship videos is people feel entitled to know, whether they know it or not, feel entitled to know about your relationship. They want to know, why did you break up? I did have a few people message me about it. I had this person who ended up messaging my ex-partner on Twitter saying, did you cheat on Lauren? And that really pissed me off. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I was so angry and it just made me uncomfortable that people want to know, not just with me, but in general, want to know the reasons for a breakup. And some people share this and that's okay. I wasn't one of those people who wanted to share it because it was between me and her. Like, that's not for the internet to know. Like, you, the internet doesn't need to know. Maybe I will share some things later on with the aim of sharing my experience and helping others. That time isn't now though. <laughs> I just know it's not now. Personally, I feel like it was incredibly personal and I hated that I had to address something that was so important to my life and so upsetting to the internet. And that's something that I don't really wanna to have to do again. Another thing is I don't wanna make content based around a relationship. I wanna keep some of that private. I know, I just don't wanna put that pressure on whoever my next girlfriend is to like be on the internet. I don't want to put her in that position because I kind of want a little bit of privacy. Not to say that I'm going to keep any relationship that I have in the future secret. That's not what I'm saying. I feel like another reason I don't really want to share a relationship online again <laughs> is because people still see the old videos and though I've taken a lot of them down, like 99% of them down, when people view the videos three years or whatever later they see you together and they st still assume that you're together and the comments are related to that and it's kind of like thanks but we're not together and I don't want to have to reply that 
back to people. Comments focused around my past relationship gets tiring because it's just something that you're trying so hard to move on from. Another reason why posting your relationship online sucks is because people unsubscribe when you break up. That's just what happens. I didn't really care because why do I, I just don't care. If you really think about that, it's they're unsubscribing because the only thing they subscribed for was your relationship, which for me was not the goal of my channel. The goal of my channel is to be me, share my experiences with things, talk to you guys. I don't want people in the future just to subscribe for a relationship. I don't want to make relationship videos. That's what I'm trying to say. And if there's no relationship videos, then there's no problem. <laughs> this is a big one. This is something that I do not want to go through again, but you've got to think about the other person in the relationship and that they are going to be involved in this. If you break up, they might want all the videos removed. That wasn't the case with me, but we were both young when we did this. We were like 19. We thought it was fine. We both actually agreed, even though we didn't think we we're going to break up, we agreed that if we did, we were cool with the videos still being on there. And we thought about it, but I guess you can't really, I couldn't prepare myself for having to tell everybody. <laughs> Let's get real for a second. Also to have your family following you, on social media and your friends like from school you know in real life friends and me posting like we're not together anymore video that was ah oh, that made me so uncomfortable because these people should find out through me telling them which most of them did but some of them like old school friends would have no idea and i kind of feel like that was a little bit maybe an invasion of privacy because they may be getting more details than what i would share with them in real life. I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it does. So I guess that loops us back around to will I ever post relationship videos again? If it wasn't already clear, probably not. <laughs> I know that's shit. I know that sounds really, really bad, but hear me out for a second. I think I will share my partner on social media at some point. Like I'm not gonna keep things secret. If they decide they don't wanna be on it at all, that's fine. I don't care, whatever they want doesn't bother me. I don't know, maybe there will be a really rare video where I'm like, this is my wife. The big question, do I regret it? Yes and no, I think. I don't regret it because I learned a lot about myself through that. I also connected to a lot of people through that. A lot of people found me, discovered me through that, and I gave you guys something to relate to. I also learned this lesson through it. If I never did what I did, back then I would never know what I know now. I take this as a really incredible piece of knowledge. Like this is a really good learning lesson for me and I'm thankful for that. I guess the small part of regret is having to tell people and have people kind of invested. That sucked, like I that really sucked and it made me uncomfortable, it made her uncomfortable. I know it did. I get why people want to see it because it's real and I don't blame anyone f who enjoyed my videos because I enjoyed them too. I don't hate anyone who still likes watching lesbian couples. Like, I love it too. <coughs> Rosie, Rosie. Because it's real. It's real representation of what LGBT plus relationships look, at, look like. And that is just so important. Hopefully that answers the whole, will I ever have a girlfriend on YouTube ever again in the future? As well as giving you some reasons why a lot of YouTubers who break up don't post their next relationship online. I know a lot of you found me through my old videos and I still appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for still being here. If you liked this video, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Let me know what other videos you wanna see. I'm trying to express myself a little bit more. I would like to get a little bit more personal with you guys. But yeah, let me know what you wanna see. And subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I finally got my ears pierced. I vlogged the whole experience. If you guys missed that, the card is right here. Click it and go watch it.